Hey. Mob, mob, mob. What do you do? <laughs> YouTube was good. This is my man, Young Davy. That fly too wise. Checking in, checking in. And bro, five years ago, 10 years ago, last year, for last week, if you would have told me the internet, the hip hop community, and fans across the board would be going at Jay Z for Lil Wayne in defense of Lil Wayne. I would have cussed you out and told you get out my face, dog. I I, I would have never seen this in a million years. But being that Lil Wayne my favorite rapper, I'm definitely excited about this. This is this this crazy. <laughs> just hearing about it. Just hearing about it. Now my thoughts and opinions on if Wayne should be performing or not just because it's in louisiana or new orleans makes sense to me i mean seems like a no-brainer but me but once you think of lil wayne music like man <laughs> hold on <laughs> what are you gonna perform at the super bowl how to love that's about it i ain't like what I... and lil wayne definitely my favorite rapper i would love to see nothing more the Wayne performing at the Super Bowl, but you know what I mean. Let's let us let us see what everybody else got to say about it as well. I'm gonna be stopping the video, leaving my input on it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do on this channel. That's what we doing. We were reacting to the video. If you want to watch the video, we act without interruptions and without um pausing. You know what I'm saying? Hit that search bar and find the original video. You can check it out, but I'm definitely gonna be giving my thoughts and opinions throughout the video as well. So, hey, let's rock and roll. So everybody want me to speak on this Super Bowl situation. Look, I'm mad about the situation just like y'all, man, but you know, my hatred is toward the NFL. You know, not really, not really the people that book the halftime show. I'm mad at the people that hired the motherfuckers that booked the halftime show. Mm. I feel like y'all should step in. Y'all done through 11 Super Bowls in New Orleans, man. Y'all have yet to put a hip-hop artist from New Orleans on the damn Super Bowl. Sure, y'all have put artists on the Super Bowl back in the days. So y'all hurt. Uh, and uh, the list goes. Ah, oh, man. Uh. I'm just saying, though, that, hey. A New Orleans hip hop Super Bowl? <laughs> no. I can see it now. Many fresh coming out that jump. Oh my if Wayne perform, Juvenile's gonna have to perform. If Juvie perform, they gonna have to do a little baby hot boy reunion. Can you just imagine? Juvie cash money records taking over for the nine nine in the two thousand at the Super Bowl, bro. <laughs> that would be wild. Oh my god, that'll be something to see at the Super Bowl, bro. Man, yeah, not just Wayne. I want to see the hot boys at the Super Bowl. Now that'll be something to see. Y'all done through 11 Super Bowls in New Orleans, man. Y'all have yet to put a hip-hop artist from New Orleans on the damn Super Bowl. Sure, y'all have put artists on the Super Bowl back in the days. So y'all hurt. Uh, and uh, the list goes on. Not too many. Not too many. You know, I feel like every time y'all come here, y'all should have somebody from our city on this shit. But this time, it really stick hit hard when you don't have Lil Wayne on the show. I don't see how the f*** y'all don't have Lil Wayne doing a halftime show. Be sure to like comment and subscribe somebody that has a whole bunch of fucking hits and somebody that really deserves it and somebody that can bring out multiple artists of all genres think ah that's a fact though 
with that being considered, Wayne did have a crazy rock run. Yeah. He could bring out pop stars. Bring Nicki and Drake. He could bring Juvie. Man, oh my God. Bruh. Let Wayne run that show. It would be crazy. It would be crazy. Think about it. So this goes to you, Roger Goodell. You need to get it right, man. You coming in our city, sucking up our cultures, and making up all this money, and putting all this bread in your pocket, putting all this bread in other people's pockets, and walk and leaving us dry, hanging us dry. You gotta stop. Hey, man. The nine mag TV. Um, I also wanted to see what Hurricane Chris had to say about it. Not only Hurricane Chris, bro, um, Birdman tapped in on it. Nicki Minaj tapped in on it. Um, Cameron and Mace too as well. So yeah, let's get through it. Let's get to it. Let's get through it. Putting it all together for you. One stop shop on this video. Salute to the content creators who uploading content around the same subject matter as well. So now you niggas understand it, huh? Same motherfucking shit that I was just saying. Oh, oh man, come on, come on, her. And 50 Cent did in Shreveport. Now it's happening in New Orleans on a bigger scale. So people like Master P come in on it, you know. So 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 now everybody understand. I just made this same fucking statement, but I guess you know, cause I ain't my brother. Motherfuckers ain't get it. You know what? Let's get back over to Nine Mag TV. This Nine Mag gonna edit that jump for us. You know what I'm saying? Let me make sure I'm subscribed. Hit the like button. Cause yeah, Nine Mag. Word right edit here out is for making. And we want to keep this video. One hundred million dollars in my. And the unedited, uncensored version of this video will be on um, World Star Hip Hop. You know what I'm saying? I got y'all covered. I got y'all covered. I'm going to show y'all where to go, bro. You don't want to wait on me with it, but yeah. Let's get it. So now you niggas understand it, huh? Same of shit that I was just saying 50 Cent did in Shreveport. Now it's happening in New Orleans on a bigger scale, so... People like Master P come in on it, you know, so 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 now everybody understand. I just made this same statement, but I guess, you know, because I ain't my brother, motherfuckers ain't get it. Well, I'm glad it's going down like it's going down. God told me to just sit back and motherfuckers' eyes was going to be open. It don't matter whether you small or big. It don't matter whether whether you large. It don't matter whether you tiny. Homage is old. Respect is old. You're supposed to pay respect to the motherfuckers that laid a foundation before you. I wouldn't give a damn what your organization is i wouldn't give a damn how much money you spent i wouldn't give a damn what you did when you walk into a house you speak to everybody who live in that house and you pay respect to everybody who live in that house i'm from the south now wherever you from you go go do what you do wherever you go do it but when you come to the south y'all gotta show my respect in this bro be sure to like comment and subscribe we got our own culture here it's coming down here laughing playing games thinking they, they, they just gonna use their money and take over everything it ain't going down like that. We going back to that old law. You need stepping on turf, gon' gon 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 do what you supposed to do, or you gonna pack your shit up and get the fuck on somewhere. All the nice got shit out the window. Being nice, trying to cop deuces, take back everything. Oh man. Okay, Chris said the people I got no pass Ryan then. Y'all gotta find y'all somewhere to do the Super Bowl. <laughs> Her crank Chris said, y'all got to find some wells to do the Super Bowl bit, dog. <laughs> That's wild. The nice word I said to you is, get your f***ing mind right, or we going to make us get their mind right. Mm -hmm. How about that? Oh, man. Oh, man. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Man, Nine Mag TV, appreciate you, appreciate you. Make sure y'all subscribe and notify Nine Mag TV also as well. With this channel too, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that button. Oh yeah, boy. And, oh man. Let's get into it, bro. Birdman tweeted. 
hating shit for real. <laughs> simple, simple. Hating, you know what I'm saying? D niggas, P, Nikki, Drake, Tunchi, YMCMP. I make these niggas respect us on Gladys. You think I'm gonna make him respect us? I don't. He put it. Hey, look, 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 G, look, G. Anytime Birdman put something on Gladys, dog, you know he mean business. You know he not playing. You know this. They ain't even nothing to joke about, bro. This is dead serious. All jokes and games goes out the window when Birdman put something on Miss Gladys, boy. Know that. Bleed that. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, put that thing on me, Gladys. Y'all boy, hey, y'all better walk right. Hey, <laughs> nigga, better talk right. <laughs> better walk light. You know what I'm saying? Boy, play on Miss Gladys now, you might get hit. You know what I'm saying? I just got scared a little bit. I ain't even, bro, I'm not joking. That's the crazy part about it. <laughs> Bird man, don't play, boy. Just put that. Hey, look. Hey. Super Bowl people. Jay Z hiring committee booking whoever did it, bro. Y'all better put that together, man. Y'all better put that together ASAP, bro. Y'all got to let Lil Wayne do the coin toss or something. Just let Wayne do the coin toss or something. If he can't perform, bro, y'all got to integrate or uh, uh, put Wayne in the mix. Some kind of way, shape, form, or fashion, my G. The bird man to put this on Gladys, boy. You know what that mean. Now, in her first rift of tweets, she would say, denying a young black man what he rightfully put into this game for no other reason but your ego, your hatred for Drake and Nicki got you punishing Lil Wayne. Good. Hey, Nicki came straight with the smoke, bro. Lord have mercy. Lil Wayne? The GOAT? No, look, what's good? Eminem stood firm on having 50 Cent come out a white man. Ha! She didn't respond by saying, tried to tell y'all, but y'all wanted brunch. Laughing my ass off, if y'all don't know. That's a. Tried to tell y'all, but y'all. Uh. Tried to tell y'all, but y'all uh hey nikki nikki definitely crashing out bro nikki hey oh shit oh shit oh, nikki shit. definitely crashing out slight jab at the rock nation brunch and she says she's on the effing road wait oh, oh wait wait she's hacked she's hacked hashtag gag city dt hashtag dtlr Oh, and she didn't stop there, YouTube family. Oh, no. She jumped up this morning with them Twitter figures. Now, she would also repost a post by a guy named Barnabas. Now, Barnabas would say, I don't know if you peeped this, but they do this with every hashtag or video relating to you on YouTube, mm -hmm. messing with the search algorithm. So, apparently... The people who run Twitter have been messing with the search algorithm because when Nicki Minaj types in hashtag Gag City MSG, Rock Nation pops up. Now, Nicki would retweet this and say, yep, everyone's aware. Clearly, they don't care. So why should I? What I'm going to do, hashtag Gag City DC, hashtag DTLR, but she wasn't done there, YouTube family. Nicki Minaj would also tweet at 2.01 p.m. Ninja, you got everything in the world, but you still spiteful and still evil. Disgusting. Be happy, a bag. Go be effing happy, ninja, in the rap business and women in business. When you got the politicians and the police, you good, though. Plus that ugly, laffy, taffy alien. <laughs> I... Ugly, laffy. Who a Laffy Taffy alien? Ah. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, oh man. Who's the Laffy Taffy alien? 
Nicki crazy. I know she's not talking to Beyonce. That's wild. <laughs> I got it. Okay, know. man. Now, Nicki Minaj would also say, go and enjoy your effing money before it's too late. She would also say, yep, I never care by the time they figure it out. Laughing my ass off is good for them. Hashtag gag city DC. Y'all ready? Y'all know his next move is going to be to tell y'all a certain someone is being treated so unfairly so that y'all can go back into that trance. Hmm. I think he's talking about, I think she's talking about Rihanna while referring to Jay-Z. Now, Nicki Minaj would also say, one ninja took a knee, the other ninja took a bag. He gonna get you ninjas in line every effing time. Mm. Well, I'll be there. Now they're referring to the Colin Kaepernick situation when Jay Z right. stepped into the NFL. That's why I was about to elaborate and break that down, but I, I kind of felt like it was gonna give a little context that for me and save me a little bit of breath. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing, player. Salute to the upload of this video too, as well. I'm watching it through World Star, but if it, if it comes from YouTube originally. To the uh, content creator that's, that's breaking this down. And uh, we never heard anything about taking a knee again. Now, Nicki Minaj would also say again, go enjoy your effing money before it's too late, bro. Now, she would also tweet out, now, we starting to believe Nicki is on that Tuesday. But hey, anyway, she would tweet again and say, yep, and I never care by the time y'all think, oh, I already read that one. I already read that one. I already read that one. Now, on her last tweet, this is the last of her series of tweets. As y'all know, Nicki Minaj has a marvelous bathroom that she likes to powder her nose in. And once the powdering session is done, she likes to go ballistic. Now, this is her last Dang. tweet. I love watching the whole industry play dumb time after time. <laughs> LOL. The truth is the truth, no matter who tells it. Picking and choosing who y'all accept truth from, bam, pow, bam. Might tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. <laughs> Nikki fuck my knives, boy. Now, that was the series of tweets that would come from Nikki's dad. Oh, and the man. internet? Well, let's just say the internet would share the same sentiment, but I'm not sure if the internet knows that Jay-Z was so involved in this decision. That's the thing. I, I believe this is news to everybody. I think it's going to be a lot of media outlets picking the story up now talking about it more now it was definitely buzzing over social media all yesterday and today but i think you know what i mean a lot of people are coming to find out now that jay-z may or may not have something to do with it so that's what's really going to make this conversation go crazy academics are already over there talking about jay-z hating on wayne and ah oh man journalists and hip-hop investigators and just hip-hop fanatics like myself are gonna get deep and dig deeper into the jay-z and lil wayne drake lore like it's only going to get deeper. It's only going to be more content to, to, to come from this. So, I mean, in a sense, as a content creator, I'm down. Basically, speaking on my favorite subject, hip-hop, music, favorite rapper included. Oh, yeah, we all over this, as usual. But, like, yeah, that that's the content creator side of me. and. The fan is just like everybody else. Like, I mean, it would be nice to see Wayne. It would be nice to see Wayne up there, up there doing his thing. Like, I mean, that's no diss to Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar has had a what career changing year this year. You know what I'm saying? He definitely took what spot he was shooting for, cemented himself as the best rapper in the game right now. And, you know what I mean, running it up. He done had a career season this year, if we were referring to sports. Like, he did his thing. But still, but still, 
I mean, I can't act like I don't see where people coming from. And I definitely agree. Still, and again, it would be nice to see Wayne performing in a Super Bowl. That would be fire, bro. That'd be amazing. I can anticipate and imagine that after everybody gets a hold of this Nicki Minaj rant, then the internet is going to start directing that energy towards Jay-Z. Now, if anything that Nicki Minaj had to say was true, if it held any weight at all, I just don't understand when Jay-Z actually had a real problem with Drake to the point where he wouldn't let Wayne perform at the Super Bowl halftime show. What's going on? Did Drake try to hit Beyonce or something, bro? Am I missing something? Because what? All of Lil Wayne's career, he always gave his most highest respect to Jay-Z. Bro, I love a little bit, but man. Yo, y'all leave y'all thoughts and opinions in the comment box, man. One, do y'all think Jay-Z hating on two? Would you like to see Wayne performing at the Super Bowl or three? You don't care. It don't matter. Next video. Yeah, don't all say it because you know that's what we're looking for. Definitely coming with another one. OG, hang on. Stay one. Someone's like, please make sure you drop a like on the video if you haven't already. You know what I mean? That'll help us. That'll help us move the groove. Please drop that like. Make sure you subscribe if you new to as well. Well, turn the notification bell on all because I want to go live, drop the link, and have an open conversation with those who watch my channel who are uh, knowledgeable about the subject. Dialogue going back and forth to talk about this thing. Man, what what y'all think, though? I think this will make for a convers good conversation, especially for guys that rock with this channel. We all love hip-hop over here, so. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you join uh make sure you join up. Make sure you subscribe. And members see the videos first. Members get first access before they drop. You know what I'm saying? And I just appreciate everybody for rocking with the channel. Yo. Uh again, OG's Yankees, day one, new members. Y'all on the next one, G. Sure. Peace. Oh shit! Oh hey. shit!